Hi friends, so once we have created the Azure SQL database instance, the next uh, obvious piece would be to move your data, which is your on-premise da data, uh, data to the Azure SQL. So let's say we have a table uh, uh, sales, which has uh, this these three records and, and a sample data, and it is a part of my on-premise installation of transactional database. And we want to move, to move this data into Azure TRAM. So one of the most uh, traditional and the basic uh, way of doing it would, would be to use SSIS. So let's just take, take start uh, by taking a look at SSIS integration services and how we can use that. So let's have a project on-prem to Azure um, and create a new project, SSIS project. And then we would try to migrate uh, this table. In the meanwhile, what we will do is let's, let's uh, create this table uh, that we have on premise on to our Azure instance so that would be our Azure connection so let's just create uh, this table and uh, okay yeah and then let's execute this so we have this table created on Azure so you can see these two tables are there the next um, part is to is to use SSIS package to to uh, move this data um, since we have this table so, so let's uh, simply start by using our toolbox So uh, um, let's just try to have um, the data flow task. And then we create uh, OLEDB source. So let's just use an OLEDB source here. And that would be your on-prem source. So we will just be connecting let's say let's create a new connection uh, on-prem and uh, yeah so see, and then let's let's use uh, the database that we have tran and say okay and then from the tables we will simply load uh, the, the table that we have uh, that's our, our sales and that would be it that would form our source we can just rename this connection to uh, say on prem uh, the next is is your target destination which is the important part where we are uh, saying we would we would go with we would move the data to so let's just use oddb that uh, connection here as well so we are saying destination as going DB and then let's create a new connection and here we would need to provide the server name um, that we have connected to and that's this and the one that we have created and then we just paste it and the database is Azure Tron. You can just say SQL authentication admin Azure feed the let's test the connection and the connection says succeeded so that's cool and once that's done let's just provide the table name 
on which we would want to move the data the, the mappings those are the mappings and uh, let's just rename to Azure DB and that's it so we are done so let's run the package uh, this essentially should uh, move our data from SQL to Azure and we can test it here let's we are connected so let's just let's test it here once we have run this packet successfully so So package has succeeded and we uh, can test the data being moved uh, with this query. So that was one of the ways, uh, uh, a very basic way of moving your data from, from SQL uh, on-premise SQL to Azure. The next is, is obviously the Azure version of the same. So we would be looking at how to uh, use Azure Data Factory which is a Azure based solution for your data movement. So that would be the next uh, video. Thank you.